life. Last day of staycation, and it has been as epic as I expected. I decided to take a break from all the fun. Hi, Callie. What have you been up to? Feels like I haven't talked to you all week. You haven't. I've been having the best time. We're having a staycation, and we've been building forts, playing games like the floor is lava. Whoa, that's my favorite game. We've watched movies and had treats on treats on treats on treats. We even had Chip's favorite acorn chuckle chip cookies. What? Chip was there? How come I wasn't invited? Um, yes. Well, <laughs> he came over a little bit. I just... Um, can you hold on a second? Sure. Hey, friends. Grace is upset that I didn't invite her over for some of the staycation fun. Oh, boy. And I talked all about how great it was. I mean, it has been so great. So much fun. Callie, I can still hear you. Oh, no. Let's check out our Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Genesis, chapters 32 and 33. Jacob and Esau were brothers. In fact, they were twin brothers. You might think that twin brothers would be very close and love each other very much. But something happened when the brothers were younger that caused Esau to be angry with Jacob. Jacob had tricked him. And Esau had given Jacob his birthright as the oldest son. That meant that even though Jacob was the younger brother, by a second or two, he was treated like the older brother. And that was a big deal back then. Imagine you were the big brother, but everyone treated you like the little one. That might make you angry too. Years and years had passed, and the brothers hadn't ever made peace with each other. That means they never made things right between them. And one day, God told Jacob that it was time to make things right with his big bro. But Jacob was scared of Esau. So before meeting his brother, Jacob sent gifts to try to make Esau less angry. To Jacob's surprise, when he saw his little brother, Esau came running and hugged him. Jacob was so happy that his brother wasn't mad at him. He begged Esau to take all of the gifts he brought. Esau decided he would receive the gifts. Finally, there was peace between the two brothers. As they hugged, they probably wished they had made things right way earlier. Jacob and Esau remind us that we can make peace with others. That Bible story was really good. I know what I need to do. I'm so sorry I didn't invite you over for some of the staycation fun. I'm sorry that your feelings were hurt. I really don't have a good excuse. I just want things to be cool between us. Can you forgive me? Absolutely. Thanks for apologizing. That means a lot. My feelings were kind of hurt. But guess what? What? We still have one night of staycation fun, and I would love for you to join us. Want to join us over a video call? We'll play special games to make sure you're included in everything. Oh, wow. I would love that. Thanks. Awesome. I'm so glad that things are good between us. And that... We can make peace with others. Uh, it's time for my staycation. What do we need for a staycation? Well, suitcase check. Games check. Friends check. Um, do we have everything? Oh, the smoothie. I like smoothies. We always belong in God's family. Don't you love that's our reality? We can make peace with others. Don't fight your sisters and brothers. Oh, 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 oh. Where are we going? No,
about to have our last night of staycation fun. It's been a blast learning and growing with you, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye!